One area that I really do like Trump in is that he has turned media on its head and exposed how controlling media has been on our culture for decades. Probably since television has been around or since the opportunity for television to be a something that's actual programming and not just, you know, like a, a schedule, but, you know, uh, but programming. Once it became able to do that, that's what was being done with it. Um, I mean, so much of it has been about getting us into the mindset of wanting to buy products because it's really all about the commercials. But when I'm looking at all the, this old footage of, of uh, you know, commercials and sometimes bits of uh, little end bits of old shows and stuff, it just makes me go, wow. We, we were so gullible in contrast to what we've become now, particularly in the Internet age. And now that the story about, you know, how Facebook was really putting out a whole shit ton of, of fake news stories, and some of those frustrated me. I, I use this thing called Facebook Purity now. <laughs> it's this little extension for uh, 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 Chrome that uh, I can block all that shit out. And I can even put in lists of, uh, of sites not to show things from. And I there's this list I got of... Uh, of news sources that put out a bunch of bullshit. And so I don't I don't see any of those in my feed anymore, and that's nice. But uh, yeah, with with it with the, this subject trending about fake news, you know, it makes us question: Well, what is real news? And we can see that uh, mainstream news on television, uh, well, they've they've had an agenda. They have. Look at the way that they promoted Hillary. My God. You know, and some people pushing forth this idea, oh, Hillary has a 98% chance of winning. It's like, excuse me? Um, maybe, I, maybe I didn't see... They, you know, when I just said that, that was based off of what someone else had said. The things I, th I was seeing were around in the, somewhere in the 70s, not, uh, not 98%. <laughs> but I mean, just, just the fact that mainstream media just didn't even remotely make it look like that this was the direction things were going to go. Um, and people realizing they've been kind of, I don't know, what's the word, duped by uh, media. That's why this has such, been such a shock to so many people, because media just had it as, well, we're going to keep doing things the way that we've always been doing them, and, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, it's going to be the same, because that's how we've always done things. I mean, media for traditionally in this country since we've had television um probably in 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 newspapers before then you know and on radio media has been actually more powerful than most politicians the media is how people get their Viewpoints. That's where they get their viewpoints. Whether they want to admit it or not, the way that the information is given to you will tilt the way that you view that subject. And, you know, especially as a lot of media companies went, you know, conglomerated into these, you know, six companies we have now. Um, you know, especially since that started happening, uh, there were fewer actual mindsets being put out. And now we're at this point where we're realizing how controlled we've been. I think that's one of the things that, that makes people angry. Realizing how controlled we've been. We've been herded around by media for decades. And this here is a break from that. And I think that I th it's hard right now as far as even that goes. But 
I think we will come out of this stronger than we were. I mean, another thing is, you know, I think this could be a traditional media's last throws. You know, we may I may talk about these these big six, but I mean, we're going to have what we know of is television, cable television. Uh, 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 those miniature satellite uh, television, uh, any of that type of, that's going to go out the window. It's going to be eventually, you know, a la carte or basically, you know, uh, uh, on demand and uh, either uh, pay for the individual shows or you pay for some service, you know, like Netflix or Hulu or Amazon or whatever, right? Um, But that's going to be the future on things. And there will be places where, you know, people will be able to get uh, live coverage of things going on on the news. Um, but news is going to change. This, this, is, this is going to change our media altogether. And I think it will change. I think it's going to change media across the world. The way that this... I, I think this could have huge repercussions and could be positive repercussions, possibly. Um, so, you know, us questioning what is the truth, what is real media, what is real media, what is real news, I should say, this is a good thing that, that this is happening. Um, we've needed something like that for a while. Like I said, we've been in this rut since, uh, since around 1998. <laughs> Funny that I gave 98 again, right? <laughs> um, that's around when it started, and by by the time uh, the Twin Towers uh, got hit, if we were in a rut. So this could be that little kick that we need to get that going again. Um, When it comes to uh, lobbyists, if Trump actually does what he says he's going to do in the first hundred days of his administration, although he keeps going back on a lot of his stuff, he can't seem to keep his word very well, um, which could be good in a lot of areas and could be bad in a number of other areas. But uh, um, yeah, if he actually does what he says he would do in the first hundred days of his uh, being in office... uh, the power of uh, lobbyists is going to be reduced significantly. Um, There also could be some things related to campaign finance reform that could, that could be shoved forth. He's talked about getting uh, uh, corruption out of the government and he may actually know ways of doing that because he knows how corrupt business, the business world can be. Um, So he has some insight that other people who have been in this position have not had. Um, so, you know, I mean, there's no way in hell that Hillary would have done jack shit about campaign finance reform. There's just no way. She'd have a lot of words, but she, she would not have any action as far as that goes. Let's just nod and, and be that plastic politician and, you know, so... It's going to be interesting to see. Um, I, I mean, no matter how, how it goes, things will get worse before they get better. But that's the way anything that really causes any sort of major change or anything that throws any sort of wrench into something, uh, that's the way that goes. So, You know, I'm trying to remain positive about Trump. So the things that I do find positive about him, um, I'd like to talk about, and that's what I've tried to do in this video. So um, it will be interesting to see how media changes. It will be interesting. <laughs>